All right, YouTube, it's time for a shrimp update. February 2017. Stay tuned. Hey, YouTube, it's Brian. Just coming at you with another monthly shrimp update. We'll just get started here. Um, crystal red tank. Things are doing good. Um, I've sold a lot lately, so I'm pretty much down to just uh, a lot of smaller babies and I um, guess you'd call them juvie size. So I'm kind of cutting off sales until I can grow a lot of these out and replenish this colony a little bit. But there's still 100 or 200 in here, somewhere in that range, and they're doing great. I just fed snowflake food to all my tanks, so that's what you're going to see, the white stuff in here. If you're newer to shrimp keeping, that white stuff is snowflake food. Uh, next door here is kind of a mixed tank. I've got um, two pintos, or excuse me, one pinto, a female pinto, which is actually buried. Uh, she's not out right. Oh, she's back on that sponge filter. It's not going to catch her real clearly, but she's back there. She's buried. I've got a male Michelin pinto, pinto Michelin, whatever you want us to call it. Uh, there's like three or four Thai bees in here, and uh, there's a tangerine tiger, and then there's also a crystal red, which was offspring from, I don't know if you guys that have been watching this for a while remember that I did a Thai bee project um, where I put a royal blue tiger and a PRL in here. And they kicked out these Thai bees, and they also kicked out some nice looking crystal reds. There's one of the Thai bees up close. Next door are uh, some more crystal reds, a little bit higher grade. Um, these three tanks, actually, too, I've just switched out a uh, new substrate recently. So, um,. Hopefully that'll help things out with some of the tanks that I've had problems with. Um, just the substrate's old and not working anymore. But these are doing well. There's been some babies going on here. I don't know, there was 25, 30 of them. Maybe closer to 40, including babies in this tank. When I switched the substrate last weekend. Uh, the PRL's next door here. They are, they've been breeding, there's some babies as you can see, so that's a good sign. Some smaller babies over there, even a better sign, that means they bred at least twice recently for me. I've got some additional PRLs coming to put into this tank. If you're new to strip keeping, PRL stands for pure red line. It means that the only thing that'll come out of these is um, the crystal red uh, color, no black. So yeah, they're doing good. The top Taiwan B tank is not doing well at all. I've got a ammonia spike that I can't get rid of. I've lost a lot of shrimp. Before the ammonia spike, I was losing shrimp also for an unknown reason. So I'm attributing it to a couple things as far as the ammonia spike goes. I don't know why I was losing shrimp, but um, the ammonia spike is due to dead shrimp, one and two. It seems like this uh, ADA that I um, put in here recently is really leaching ammonia, which is weird because I cycled it for about six weeks. Um, I even kept the date on here. So uh, November 10th was when I started it, and about six weeks later, everything tested zero, ammonia, nitrate, nitrates, everything, I shouldn't say zero, but everything tested where it should be. Ammonia was zero, nitrate was zero, nitrite, I can't remember what the, I think zero is, anyway. It's morning, sorry, my brain's not working correctly. Anyway, everything was great, and for whatever reason, this tank is reading, it's not a huge amount of ammonia, but any amount of ammonia is not good. So, I've got a filter on it, uh, hang on the back filter with some purigen in here to slowly try to remove that, and we'll just keep uh, seeing what happens. This Taiwan bee colony here, just like last time, is doing great. Seeing new babies all the time. 
They're just chowing down right now. A lot of different colors in there. Got blue bolts, red bolts, white, we'll call them white bolts. Pandas, shadow pandas. Um, should be a wine red or two somewhere in there. So they're doing good. I'd like to get uh, some BKKs for here. And maybe some more wine reds. So I'll be looking on the lookout for those. If anyone's got that, either of those type right now, let me know. Let's work something out. Alright, over here is the uh, rack of eight. Start on top. These are nothing much going on in here. These are the quote unquote savage reds as they used to or once were called. Haven't mixed them with anything else yet, so they're still that line if they ever get to breeding for me. I think she's I think this is a buried uh, I think that was a buried female that just swam by. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And this might be one up here on the sleeve too so hard to tell once I load it on my computer I'll know if I'm speaking out of turn or not uh, Royal Blues are doing good colony has gotten a little bit smaller due to sales so I've I think even on my last video I had said that I've cut off sales on these for a while um, it's kind of weird um, the usual foods that I feed these guys, they're just crazy. There'd be a lot more out. They don't dig snowflake quite as much, which is fine. High protein foods, these guys go nuts. So a lot of them aren't out right now. They're all over the tank. There are some babies in here. Not a ton, but there are some babies in here, so that's good. There's a few females, too, that... Um, Recently I saw I had that really nice red look to them, which means that things are about to go. <clears throat> uh, PFR tank, painted fire reds. Get quite the colony going here. Need to do a little calling, but for the most part, as these guys mature, they, they get the really nice red. Down below here, <clears throat> sorry about this tank, I've got some extra filters in here to keep them seated. Um, when I've been swapping out substrate, I've got two tanks that I use to cycle. And right now I'm not doing it, I'll be doing a couple more tanks here this weekend, setting them up once I get some um, SL Aqua uh, substrate in. But, uh, so I'm using these, I'm keeping these filters seated so that they can help with the next cycle. Same with down here. This is just the Aura Blue tank. Uh, a couple Aura Blues in here, which I'm going to throw over in that tank with the Tybees and, and Pintos. Anyway, <laughs> sorry I didn't say anything. This is the Crystal Black tank. Same old story here. Um, I have seen some babies recently, but just haven't been able to get the the uh, breeding going that I had hoped to, so we'll continue to be patient with that. Can't really see a lot with these filters right in the front. Uh, the green jades are doing well. Tons of babies in here. They're really hard to see because of the black substrate and everything. Possibly thinking about selling off this colony so I have room for another Caradina tank. Just not sure yet. And up here we've got the uh, the red rillies slash orange rillies slash orange neos. Kind of a combo platter. Just kind of letting these things do their thing. Um, haven't really advertised them for sale or anything like that. Kind of seeing what, what we get out of it. I'm noticing a few darker colored shrimp in here now too. First time I've really noticed that. Haven't paid a lot of attention to this tank. So that'll be interesting to see what that's all about. <laughs> and then the uh, the Blue Dreams buried female right up front there. 
Blue Dreams are doing good. Looking forward to when this colony really expands, but it's been slowly expanding. So yeah. Why don't we head upstairs and show the last few tanks that are in my office. All right, so this is the 90 gallon. Um, these are the red Neos. Uh, a lot of them could be easily classified as painted fire reds. Haven't been selling shrimp out of this tank. This is just a tank that is a, more of a display tank that I just want to grab, grow a huge colony of cherries, painted fire reds, whatever come of them out of here. And they've been breeding a lot lately. There's babies all over the place. The other thing that's all over the place, which is really ticking me off, you can probably see them swimming all around, is scuds or lawn shrimp, however you want to classify them. They're all over the back wall. They're swimming around. If anybody has a good way to get rid of them without killing shrimp, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to probably tear this entire tank down, save the shrimp, get rid of everything else, and start a new tank, because the only success I've had in getting rid of them in the past is loaches. And, um, you know, the loaches got rid of them, I thought. There must have been a few that, that made it out alive. <laughs> and they slowly reproduced, and now... You know, a couple months later, this tank is just filled with them. So that's really frustrating, and uh, I'd like to find a way to get rid of them. If anybody knows, please uh, leave a comment. Um, those of you that know me well know how to get in contact with me in other ways, too. Um, let me know either way. But, you know, positive sign here is that we've got babies um, spotted all over this tank, so that's good. In different... Uh, different cycles. I mean, some are getting to be more juvenile size, some are small shrimplets, and uh, so that's great. This is the former Tangerine Tiger tank. I uh, cycled a tank with uh, ADA Aquasoil, and we've got a Blue Bolt colony started in here. Got about 20 of them in here. Got them from a local friend of mine, Carl. Really nice looking blue bolts. Blue bolts are one of my favorite shrimp. And these come from a blue bolt only colony, not a kind of a mixed Taiwan bee colony. And they so they've been known to produce only blue other blue bolts, which is what I wanted to do in this tank, have kind of a blue bolt only tank. So they've only been in here two days. Haven't been feeding them yet, just letting them get used to the tank. So far so good. Nice piece of boost right up front here. But yeah. And then the final tank is just a call tank. Some of these calls in here have been breeding and there's babies here and there. But yeah, that's really it this for this month. Um, hoping to expand a few new types of shrimp within the next month or so. So stay tuned for that. But right now, that's about all I've got for you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that you get updated every time I uh, upload a new video. I keep uh, regular videos. Um, up on my YouTube channel from all my different uh, types of aquatic hobby endeavors. I do shrimp, I do uh, a lot of different cichlids, and I've got a reef tank too. So make sure you subscribe, check it out, make sure you share, like, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, later.